Alright, so lava dive, all methods. So we'll start off with the bare minimum, which is no high jump and no gravity, but with Varia. I'm not gonna bother doing it without Varia, it's the same thing. It's just you take less damage when you have Varia because you're not taking heat damage as well. So, first of all, if you're gonna do the bounce ball method, which I'll show you that right now so you can understand what it is and why it's beneficial. So you just, oops, you just gotta be terrible. So you just bounce ball through the lava and it gets you down all the way to the bottom really quickly. See, it only took me like 60 energy to get to the bottom. Whereas if you did something kind of like this, and then like you jumped or something, like you'd have to dodge these flames. Plus like it just takes a lot longer. So it's just better to do the bounce ball. So the bounce ball is pretty simple. You just align right to this little thing right here. This little jutting out part. And then you just uh, run and then jump. And you want you want to hit the top of the door in the doorway. Now sometimes I jump a little bit late like that. Like I didn't actually hit the top. Just release all buttons and then enter the door, hold A, and then morph. So it makes it a little bit more complicated if that happens. But that's the way to make sure that it worked. And even if I do hit the top, I kind of feel like I didn't. Like, right there, I hit the top. But I'll just do it like that anyway. So I release A, that way I start falling. And then since you have to be holding A when you hold down, or when you aim down, or else you lose your momentum, I start holding A again. See? So it's fairly easy. Pretty reasonable. So... Oh yeah, uh, another thing to note. If you're going to be doing that, you got to make sure you turn off speed. Because let's say... I'm just going to turn the high jump on as well. So let's say you have speed on. If you do the bounce ball properly, you'll still lose all your speed because that's just uh, that's just how lava works. Or acid. No, this is lava. That's just how lava works. So, so you just lose all your speed. That wasn't me hitting the wall. That was just me losing my speed. So if you're going to do the bounce ball, make sure you turn speed off. All right. So this is, uh, that's all the preliminary stuff now. This is no high jump and no speed. So yeah, no high jump, no gravity. So the idea here is to... You're not going to be able to jump all the way to the upper right Namihei. So what you need to do is you need to bring this guy's flame with you. And you can use it to get iframes so you can wall jump here. And then you can wall jump right over like that. I'm surprised I got that first try. So it costs a pretty decent amount of health because you got to get hit by the flame. But you can swing it with just two E-Tanks fairly easily. Like if you get it with the bounce ball and everything first try. So I'll just give, him, give you my visual cues real quick, real quick for this. So what you want to do is, you know, standard bounce ball method. And then once you, you like... It's hard to explain. Uh, once you... I'm just going to go down here and show you. Once you pass this little ledge right here, uh, that's when I own more. Once I pass it. So. See, so that time I didn't hit the ceiling, so I'm going to let go of it and do this. No, that is not my timing. I guess once you pass the Nami, hey, then. It's hard to, like, know exactly what your timing is, because. I don't know, you kind of see it, and then you just release, and you don't even really know what you're paying attention to. Yeah, it's like as soon as I pass the Nami, hey. But you won't be able to see him, so you gotta, like, know where he's gonna be. You know. It's kinda tricky. Feel free to use your own method. See, what you wanna do is you wanna have a method where you can unmorph and continue to hold left, and the flame won't go off screen. Because if it goes off screen, it despawns and you're screwed. But yeah, the wall jumping that's required for this is pretty tricky. Uh, so it's gonna take a lot of practice to get used to. But yeah, if you, if you unmorph, like, right there... That'll keep his flame on screen the whole time. But you won't be able to get there fast enough, you know? So you gotta find the right balance. And then after you unmorph, after you get to the bottom, what you wanna do is you wanna jump right to this little block and then right up. So you get there as quickly as possible. Also, something to be cautious about. Um, you wanna make sure that you don't... You don't jump too high with the wall jumps, because sometimes if you wall jump far enough up that wall... You can, uh, 
you can hit the flame of the upper Namihei. Kind of like if any of you are familiar with doing high jump with lava dive, or lava dive with high jump. Uh, if you just hold A the whole time, you'll actually... So let's see if I can uh, do this the ED way. So I usually... I'll give you my wall jump cue now. I usually wall jump at that gap in the spikes right there. That's where I do my final wall jump, and I believe I do three wall jumps? I'm not sure. It's really good to have these things figured out, because if you just do it, like, off of feel, it's going to be very tricky. And then, oh, one of the key things about this, actually, is to get that left, that bottom left Namihei on screen as quickly as possible, because you want him to shoot his flame, that way you'll be able to jump through it. Because, like, let me give you an example. If I get up, like way ahead of this flame on the right here so I'm like way ahead of it right now but I wait and then I go his flame will be in the way I won't be able to jump past so you want to get him on screen as quickly as possible so he shoots his flame so it gets out of your way if that makes sense ah dang it see that was a little bit tricky because I got the fast um, the fast bounce ball oh, that was the bad bounce ball So yeah, there's three different locations that you actually bounce off of when you do the bounce ball, or potentially. Usually what you get is you bounce right in front of that Namihei, which is good, but sometimes you'll bounce on him, sometimes you'll bounce below him. Oh wow, so I go above that gap actually. Yeah, the best bounce is that one where you bounce in front of him though. Oh, no, I don't go above it, I go below it. So. Let me do this. So yeah, you want to get right above that gap right there. And I do three wall jumps. Feel free to come up with your own method though. Don't, you don't have to use mine. So yeah, it just depends on when you morph. Like if you morph before the lava here, then you'll get more distance. But if you morph after the lava, then you'll have less. Because you don't have enough speed when you morph. So it really just depends. So yeah, I go right above that second hole in the spikes. And if you go right there, then you get plenty of height. So much so that you have to actually release jump, or else you get hit by that flame like I just did. But yeah, one of the trickiest parts is actually um, that turnaround. You want to wait till the flame is about one block to the right, no, less than a block to the right of you, like it's about to hit you. And then turn, but don't let it hit you, obviously. Yeah, that bad bounce though is really bad. What was that? Oh, dang it, I almost got that. But yeah, so that's kind of what it is. I'll, I'll try and get it one more time. It's really just a feel kind of thing, like many other things with this game. You just gotta keep doing it until you get used to the timing and all that stuff. The timing of the turnaround is really, like, tricky. You might want to, like, just practice just that part for a little bit, like, over and over. <clears throat> but that's the gist of it. Not too terrible. Definitely pretty hard. The wall jumping is pretty intense, so if you're not, if you're not good, like, relatively decent at wall jumping, you might not want to try it. You gotta do some fast wall jumps there on the spikes. But, you know, just see it and see if it works for you. So the next method is, uh, same thing, but with high jump, so definitely not as bad. That took me a lot longer to explain than I thought it was going to. This should be pretty... It should all move faster now since I've already explained all that stuff to you. So, bounce ball setup's the same. Just do this. And then... One, you don't need to um, unmorph at a special time or anything. You don't need that flame. You just come over here. Whoops. So I like to unmorph right when I am level with that Namihei. I want to land right on this block here. 
And then you just wall jump off that guy. Release A just before you hit that flame so you don't hit it. That's what I was talking about before where you get too much height. So you just come over here. Wall jump off the Namihe. Release A so you don't get too much height. And then do one small wall jump there so you don't get hit by the Namihe's flame. Because their timing is always the same. And he'll screw you. If you try and wall jump. If you're really fast, you can actually make it like that. But it's really tricky. There's no reason to do that. Like, it doesn't even save you the amount of energy that's equal to... Like, I don't know how to explain this. It doesn't even save you enough energy to where you'd be able to skip a tank if you did it. It saves you like 10 energy. If you have area. So yeah, just a late unmorph to land there. Wall jump off this guy. It's very simple. Do one wall jump, do a second. You can even, if you feel like it, if you don't feel like... Because you gotta do like kind of late and low wall jump there to get past that Nami Hey, If you want to, you can even do this. Oh, whoops, and wall jump off him. Um, but it really doesn't matter. This one's very easy. Like, I feel like anyone should be able to do this, because it really isn't that bad. Like this, you can do that if you want, I don't know. Some things that people try to do. Not my decision what you do. Oh look, I brought the flame with me. So yeah, I like to unmorph right when I'm at the same vertical position as that Nami, hey? The, the one on the right that shoots the flame. Boom. And then release A. Wall jump once, and wall jump again. But yeah, this part's kind of tricky though, because... No... Oh yeah, and if you have enough e dangs you can do this over and over again. Uh, so this part's kind of tricky, because like, if you come up here, you'll hit him when you wall jump. So you gotta be kind of down a little bit, and kind of do like a semi-delayed wall jump, you know. But yeah, that's that. Very simple compared to the uh, the high jumpless counterpart. That's kind of why I went with that one to explain first. So next is the gravity jump versions, which should be very, very straightforward. So again, we'll start with high jumpless, and we don't need to... Uh, for these, you don't really need to turn off speed, so it's not a big deal. Um, so I'm sure you're all familiar with the high jump version, where you stand here. I'll just do the high jump version first, I guess where you stand here and then you pause not like that oh my gosh my timing you pause then you jump just as the pause fades out and keep holding A and then you're up very simple standard gravity jump thing now a lot of people like to pause and then get a lot of run speed I see no reason to do that because you're not looking for vertical momentum you're looking for er, you're not looking for horizontal momentum you're looking for vertical so it really just makes things easier to do just a stationary spin jump like that. I'm not sure if that's going to hit that or not. No. You know, so. I don't know, just personal preference. Like, if you get a lot of run speed, then you have to like kind of press right sometimes. just makes things easier input-wise. I think there's also a, a grab jump you can do from here. Like this. What the? Oh, I hit the spike. Let's see if this is actually a thing. I feel like I'm always going to hit that spike. Please tell me she jumped. Nice. Yeah, so you can do that. Saves you a little bit of health, but man, is that tricky. So that only costed me like 20 health. Very good. Compared to the one over here. No, that wasn't very good. And obviously the later you jump, the more health you save, because you'll be in the lava for less time. That one costs like no, that one costs like about twenty. Also, I wonder if there's something you can do here with a crouch jump. Yeah, you can crouch jump it if you want. That costs like thirty, and it's kind of harder. But hey, whatever floats your boat. So now let's do the uh, high jumpless methods. So high jumpless isn't that bad actually. You just, it's just a little bit tricky. 
Oops. Everything without high jump is just a little bit more tricky. So you gotta wall jump off this guy. So I like to pause as soon as I jump for the first time. And then wall jump off him and you can wall jump there. There's also something you can do where you like... I believe you wall jump over here. Yeah. So then you do like kind of like the high jump with lava dive type of thing right there. But I'm very familiar with the uh... The one where you wall jump off him. It's not too bad. The The second wall jump is pretty... Or the wall jump is kind of tricky to time right before the pause. But... It's not too bad. You can also like kind of combine these and like go over there or whatever. But yeah, this actually isn't that bad. It's annoying to try and uh... Dodge the flames with this method. But not too, too bad. I kind of like that though. I've really done that one before. Uh, I feel like there's kind of something you can do here as well. Like, I think you can do this and then do what I was just doing over there. Like, yeah, there we go. So, there's a lot of options, you know. If you can get up to that Nami Hay, then you can just wall jump up. A lot of options. I think the method that I actually use is probably the hardest one. I'm wondering if there's something you can do here. Uh, maybe you get more run speed. It's kind of tricky though. Okay, yeah, that's all the uh, that's all the methods. Yeah, I guess you can do it like that if you want to. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So both versions of gravity jump, both versions of uh, a bounce ball type thing. So yeah, not too bad. And then obviously with space jump, it makes everything more easy if you have uh, gravity. So yeah, that's that.